Hey guys, welcome to Aaron's Review and in today's video we have another review, the Fear Audio Legacy 9 review where I waited a month to get this item back to, well, to me. I've had the Fear Audio Voyager 14, I've had the Voyager 3, I've had the Legacy 3 and the last one that I've been waiting for, the Legacy 9, which has arrived and I've been using it quite frequently. Obviously there are two more new Fear Audios that's just been released on the Linzo website. Fear Audio has been producing some new any monitors and yes this time, yeah there we go. Here we have the Fear Audio Monarch and here is the Fear Audio, uh, Audio Covoyance. 699 respectively and 729 one does have a BA driver they both got electrostatic drivers and dynamic drivers but one of them the more expensive one obviously will have one more BA driver six BA drivers so that means the other one must be five so it's got two electrostatic drivers dynamic drivers and six balance amateur drivers which retails for 729 and um, this one has got the five balance amateur driver um, so a bit similar or maybe slightly different to the EJ07. The EJ07 also does have electrostatic drivers, BAs and dynamic driver. I mean, that is what's happening with the industry right now. They're changing drivers. This one here, the EJ07, it's got electro quad. It's got four electrostatic drivers, 10 millimeter dynamic drivers and a dual balance amateur. So BA drivers less, but the quad electrostatic driver. Uh, has more that means that the treble will be much nicer and you can hear a bit more detail on that range right so sorry a bit of information about fee audio so I've had five of the products I've still got the headphone as well which I forgot I can probably do a comparison of all the four fee audios because I do have all four in, well not right now I do have all four with me and um, my intention is to, yes, mostly keep it because I spend my money buying these stuff sometimes. Hence my hobby, one of my hobbies. Right, here we have the M15 enjoying it thoroughly and using the DD Hi-Fi uh, case, which I think is fantastic. It does get warm, which I don't like. I would prefer if it's like an SP1000 where it doesn't get too warm. Oh, actually, the SP1000 doesn't get warm at all. So same with the SP2000. Um, for those people who are we talked about this ring uh, if that you know comes off if it if you're able to it doesn't fit in properly i don't know you can see it fits nicely mainly because there is actually a bit of sticky tip inside so if that happens to you which it did eventually happen to me after two days of use put some sticky tape inside and then put it back in and it does the job again so that's the main issue. Right, here is the case actually here is one of the case that i use to hold my any monitors Right, this is, I've got the Billy Jean here. 6B8 driver, I recall. I recall. Uh, we have the Fee Audio with the C8 cable. This is the Legacy 3. We have the, no, that wasn't Legacy 3. That was the Voyager 3, sorry. That was the Voyager 3 here. We have the Legacy 3 here. Uh, we have the K bear here. We have uh, the Tin Hi Fi T2 Plus, which is definitely, um, which I've not done the review of yet. So I will do a review of. Um, I would probably say that this is in comparison to the Bloom Zero Free and uh, Urban Fun. Crazy base here, Urban Fun control base uh, the tin hi-fi t2 plus uh, is definitely a better upgrade than tin hi-fi t4s which i owned and i sold the t4s was quite neutral i think where everything well what, there wasn't things that were standing out the pace was neutral the vocals were neutral uh, so so if you were entering and you weren't too sure what your tastes were that would probably be the one that i recommend so that everything is like kind of a flat neutral area uh, but with the tin Hi-Fi T2 Plus, there is better bass there, which is something I, I like, which I probably recommend over my T4S. And again, this is my Bloom Zero 3, which I highly recommend. And this is the Shouzi 1.1. Again, another different one. Uh, obviously, this is not all the cases. Uh, in the middle here is the thing that I want to talk about today. Feel Audio 
Legacy 9, it did take, I, I had cancelled it and changed my order and then I ordered the EG07. We had the nice crazy sale that happened over two or three weeks ago where everything was a bit of discount and then I was able to purchase the $100 for $50 price thing that I, that the Linsa was offering. So I think about, I paid about 400-ish mm, dollars for this. So, which I think is definitely a nice uh, considering that price was quite dropped. This is what it comes with. Yes, people have asked me where did I, uh, this is actually the cable clip that I use to clip this onto my t-shirt. Especially when, you know, when people are walking around you, they suddenly, you know, catch your wire. So this helps me so that my monitor doesn't drop to the floor. The any monitor, the Legacy Knight looks like this. It is slightly different. It is not the maple spotted one, as I recall. Um, it used to be blue and reddish, but now it's black and reddish. I would prefer the the picture that they have on their website more than this one, but it's still fine. Uh, it is all wood made, and hence the reason why it took a long time. There is eight BA drivers here and one dynamic driver, and the price of this retails for five hundred and fifty US dollars. And the cable that it comes with, it feels a bit like an elastic band cable, not like a. Uh, it's totally different to the Mangra T cable, where it just feels like a proper cable here. There's like something that's kind of sticky to it, but what's important for me is that it's got a two point five millimeter cable, which is what I requested. In regards to the case, which I forgot to mention, so I'll slip it in here, this part of the video. The case that the new packaging provides, this is actually the new case now for the that for what I got. And I don't, I'm not a fan of this case, to be honest. I'm a, I would rather prefer the case that they previously had, which is what I got with my Voyager 14 and the Legacy 3. My leg is the Voyager 3 didn't come with a case. Well, it came with a case, but it was a hard plastic case. The reason I don't like this case is because, uh, let me show you. So, roughly speaking, many, I think many audio files would probably just do this and then tie it around like so. And then you can see that we'll mostly put it in the case. Here, when we do that, you can see that. It doesn't all fit in nicely unless you maneuver it quite nicely as to put it in which is one thing that I don't like and there's also the likelihood that you might when you put it in or cram it in that you know the CM connectors might be broken anyway that's what I don't like about this case so if Linz is watching this video my recommendation is or few others watching this stick to this case this case is fantastic it's nice and you can see here my Voyager 14 is here and in fact I can have two there we go so this is me sorted for my holidays if I'm going anywhere I have my two any monitors that I like I actually do use my other case for my Sony Z1R and yeah so that's one thing I want to talk about, yeah, definitely their case previously were better and I would suggest using those cases. First couple of days I've been using the Legacy 9 quite frequently and mainly because it was fantastic. Made of wood, feels special, it's black and red color, was hoping for the blue red color. A big IEM for sure, mainly before because of the fact it contains eight BA drivers and one dynamic drivers. So if you put it in your ears, it does protrude outwards a little bit, but then that's noticeable. Uh, there's a vented hole here. And so sleeping with it might not be ideal if you lie on your ears when you sleep. Um, I sometimes listen to some music when I go to sleep. So yes, um, that is fine for me, I think. Sound isolation is good as you're able to block up noise I've been using the stock cable with just fine 2.5 millimeter cable. This one, I think it's decent the cable. Uh, with the EJ07, I do recommend a changing cable. That's my preference. I've been using it with the players such as the Field M15 here, um, the Hugo 2, the SP2000, the SP1000 with amp, and the AP80 
in pro and copper roughly my gears right now that i've mentioned that i use to listen to test up my stuff due to the item has ventive holes there are no discomfort or popping sounds when you put it in your ear or use it for a long time so there's no discomfort at all uh, the cable wraps around your ear nicely unlike the, the one that i just done the unboxing of the blue zero fire this cable is obviously definitely much better you are paying 550 dollars worth but as i said i paid 400 ish for it because of the discount. Let me get the graph first, that's important as to tell you what the sound signature is. It's a bit of V-shape for sure on this one. So coming to the graph, which is the most important thing, which gives you an idea what it looks like here is what the graph, uh, obviously this is provided by Critical, so courtesy of Critical for his hard work or for the hard work on their graphs of any monitors. Uh, you can see that there is the Base and sub base uh, is quite high, so that means that you're getting more of this in your face. So, yes, definitely there. It dips downwards, and then there is your mids, and then here it goes back up your treble, and you can see that it changes slightly with the treble at the 5k range, and then 8k range it dips down again, and then it goes. Uh, up, up up and down definitely where you're getting if i were to compare this with the ej07 right now i recall that the ej07 the base is less out of those two any monitors that i use right now which is uh well which i'm testing right now if ej07 or the field audio legacy 9 my preference would be the no the ej07 right now uh, i had that for a week and then the right side was damage well it wasn't damage it stopped working or functioning properly such that i had to sense it back and that was that took like a month to get back but that is definitely one that i recommend providing that their quality or can uh, does you know quality control they check thoroughly first and then there is also the conductor as well but anyway that is the graph of what the legacy 9 looks like so 550 us dollars and it comes there is a blue version there is like an acrylic version as well uh graph just what you saw deep numbing sub bass at low volume is fine that is i think it's important that with any monitors that whatever the sound can change by the volume which i also agree uh, Medium, you know, you get the sparkle of the bees working, the dynamic drivers hitting softly, you know, and all that stuff. But with the volume, as you change it and progress, and then you get higher and higher, the any monitor also changes as well, which I feel. So at this, at low volume, it's fine. You can hear a bit of, you know, the BA was working and the dynamic drivers working. At medium volume is probably where most people would prefer with this um, Legacy 9, because the bass is coming on perfectly, the sub bass is coming on, the vocals is there, uh, sound stage and stuff like that, and the trebles. Uh, but if you go with high volume, which is what I sometimes do, this is where crazy mode gets. You are definitely hearing that that bass could be too much for some of you guys. It's overwhelming. There's that deep rumble, depending which song of Grizzly you're playing. Definitely much more than the Blue Zero 3, for those who know what, and, you know, I always go back to the Bloom Zero 3 as a benchmark so that you guys know. If you found that Bloom Zero 3 was crazy based, then if you, then the Legacy 9 is even more overwhelming. And especially if I drive it at a higher volume, you can definitely hear that deep punchy sub bass and then that rumbling bass and then that bigger massive sound stage, which is what this offers. Think about it. You actually, there is actually... 8 BA drivers there, hence the reason why the sound stage is much more so that you can hear the instruments coming from everywhere. Uh, that is what I prefer to use sometimes. Sometimes I just keep it in the medium volume. Um, but it can be over, could be a bit overwhelming for some of you. But um, for me, I think it's like I've got many ENI monitors and I change quite frequently. I sometimes use my Sony EZ1R, sometimes I use this, and sometimes I use my EG07. Uh, as I said, the three that I've been testing for right now is probably the Legacy 9, the EG07, and the Mangro T because they've arrived. Uh, hence, I also need to do a review for you guys as well. So, yeah, bass could be too much for some of you. So, you have to decide that that's what you want. For me, there are times when I do this and it's like crazy mode where that's 
deep impactful bass takes over if everything with that rumble making it unique for me. Music that I listen to is K-pop and EDM which is with songs that has that can provide that fast moving beats and kick drum stuff like that. Uh, kick drums, one that I find that provides fantastic kick drum would probably be the EJ07. Yeah, again I've not done the review yet, I have done the unboxing, again that's coming. Vocals, the sound is pre present and forward, which is, means that the sound is not laid back. I'm a person who prefers the vocal up front. You know, sometimes, the, you know, with some ENE monitors, you can hear more of the music while the vocals are more drawn back. I guess you can, again, change it on your player by, you know, changing the graphs and stuff like that. But for me, I think, with, I don't play around with changing things much. So here is roughly what, you know, I test it with the, current stock cables and then I try to upgrade it to uh, cables that I have which I do have a couple of. At the moment I'm happy with the stock cable so everything in this here is all packaged. They even gave me a spin fit inside as well so perfect I didn't have to pay anything extra. What I do need to do is to buy more of this cable so for those who are in Japan if it, um, you can buy an ear earphones or Yudubashi as well I recall. Uh, yeah, if you're in Japan, I would appreciate if you can help me out sending me some of these stuff. Uh, I do need more because I do a lot of any monitors. Uh, obviously, I can't travel right now to Japan because of the virus. Soundstage is immersive, is deep, is wide. Uh, I would say probably it's more wide than deep. Instruments can be separated and coming in all directions for this any monitor there are actually eight ba drivers so that means that will help to articulate things more with the voyager 14 which is the 14 ba driver again from via audio you can see that you know as i said that is a detailed monster which is what i called it when i did that review of the voyager 14 here is definitely less detail of course because but that crazy rich bass from that dynamic driver is totally out of this world and that is what this baby brings the dynamic driver with the legacy 9 the forger 14 does a pretty decent base um, but that's only using 14 ba drivers but here you're getting that proper dynamic base uh, so it's a bit like you know the z is that one or that's again it's got crazy well deep impactful base treble some people might find that a bit bit more peaky and um, i don't mind trebles too much overall is it worth that well people have said that this any motor sounds a bit like the JQ8 plus one as I recall. I am not too sure. It, looking at the spec, it does look like it. Um, but obviously, if let's just say let's just say that if this was rebranded at all anyway, uh, I would have been happy to know that it has been rebranded so that it catches our attentions more. Or else we wouldn't have found out that there are some nice any motors which are at a decent price range, and not at crazy price, and you're getting some very fantastic sounds from it. Definitely, I am enjoying it right now. I do like the wood version. This is probably my first wood version that I've had. had. Comfort is good. Sound quality is good. Bass is crazy, as I said, uh, if you turn it up at high volume. And it's same with the Sony Z1R. With high volume, you're definitely getting more of that immersive sound stage. Here, you, what overtakes it is that deep impactful bass. Do I recommend it at 550 or would I be recommend other other any mortars if I were to pay a little bit more? When I had it, I, I was enjoying it definitely, but I had to change the cable to the Pandora um, cable. And yes, I am enjoying my EJ07 more than the Legacy 9. So if you're willing to pay a little bit more, then my suggestion is, maybe just go for the EJ07. Bass is less. Uh, if I were to show you the graph, the, the graph is definitely, the bass is less. Uh, anyway, this is the Legacy 9. Tracks that I have been testing it was, well, I was definitely testing Michael Jackson. Uh, history, enjoying it thoroughly. You know, there's like times where Michael sings and you know, you're getting that sweet vocal. Uh, also, if you want to hit, get that beat, uh, obviously there's beat it and, Billy Jean as well. Anyway, hopefully you found this video useful. This is the 
Fear Audio Legacy 9 8B A1 Dynamic Driver. Uh, I can probably do a comparison. The, there will be a comparison of the Voyager 14 with the EJ07, but I have to do the EJ07 first before I do a comparison. Uh, but as you can see, I, I do talk about any other any monitors that I actually currently own during my conversation. 550 US dollars um, is probably recommended at the price that I paid for. I definitely would have paid for it. And yes, this one, I will be using it quite often, mainly because as I said, it's something unique. Crazy bass is sometimes what I aim for. And this is it. And it's like, you know, the Legend X from Empire Years. I've tried it many times. I didn't, I've not purchased it. Tried it many, many, many times. I, you know, there's like something, it's definitely all in the bass area, but this is like deep impactful bass area. While that one was like a low sub bass and it lingers in the bass area. Anyway, hopefully you enjoy this video. Do subscribe if it helps you. Stay safe, enjoy music. Hopefully there's more fantastic any monitors coming our way. See you guys.